Hello everybody, Greg Stager here, your K12 tech guy, with a quick video to show you how you can animate an object on the screen. And we're going to create a custom path for that object to follow. Now I've preset the stage here with a computer and a little squiggly line to kind of represent an Ethernet cable that is getting us connected to the internet. And I've got this little blue oval here to represent a data packet that's coming in from uh, the internet. And so what we want to do is uh, show this data packet following the cable into the computer as we're connected to the internet. So I'm using PowerPoint 2013 for this particular example. Now let's get started. So uh, again, I've got everything set up here. So I want to take this data packet here and I want it to follow the line. So I'm going to move it right down here uh, to the beginning of our cable that we've got. And I, I situated it off of the side of the screen so that it just looks like it's coming from, you know, way off somewhere else, uh, you know, on the internet uh, with the data coming in. So I've got my oval selected. And what I'm going to do is go up here to Animations, click on that tab, and you can see I get all these animations across the little bar here. So I'm going to use this drop-down, uh, Entrance, Emphasis, Exit, and Motion. Okay, so we're going to use a motion path because we want this data packet to move. And I'm going to choose Custom Path. Now, you see my little crosshairs pop up here. I have to actually draw the path I want it to follow. And you know, I'm going to do the best I can here relatively quickly to draw my line. I'm just clicking and holding the mouse button and I'm tracing uh, along the cable that I have in place. Now, oops, now you can spend a little more time uh, tweaking your path to make it more precise if you like. I'm just going kind of quick here so you can see the idea of creating a custom path. Uh, now I, I'm at the end. You see I've still got a line that's kind of attached here. I'm going to hit escape to cut that off where I let go of the mouse button. So now I've got this custom line that's drawn here. Now you see the dotted line represents the path I've drawn. Yeah, nice mouse skills there, guy. And uh, you can tweak that if you like. Uh, so I can right click and choose edit points. And we get all these points along the line that we can that we can adjust. So you know, if I zoom in here a little bit on some of these areas where I've you know went off track, I can grab those points and just drag them in on and put them back on the line here, and that will sort of you know tweak the the, the path that you've created. I can also right click, for example, on this point and just delete it all together and so it'll just magically connect then to the next one and you know you just repeat and on all those areas where you want to tweak that path and make it match your uh, desired line I can also right here there is no point but if I just go ahead and grab that line and drag it down it'll add one in there for me so you can see the how to go about doing that well let's delete a couple more and you get the idea uh, of just creating your your path and making it go the way you want. Um, so let's go ahead and get back out here. We've got a line that's relatively close to what we want with the cable. Now when we actually animate this, you're not going to see that dotted motion path. You won't see that. It's invisible. You'll just see the packet moving along that you know imaginary line if you would. So let's go ahead and launch this. Let's see what it looks like. Alright, so there's our, our data cable there. So you see there's no motion path visible. Uh, but we don't see a data packet coming. I'm going to click on the screen. And there it comes. It zips along our path. And then it, then it just sits over here by the computer. Well, you know, we want the data packets to keep coming. We're connected to the internet, right? So let's go and tweak this path now a little bit. Uh, to give it uh, the effect that we're kind of looking for. So I'm going to highlight my object that I'm animating here and I'm going to go up to this advanced animation group and choose animation pane. That brings us up here and I've got the only thing I'm animating is my data packet and I, I pre-labeled that. 
I'm going to select this here and go into the effect options. Now in this box I can kind of mess around with a couple of settings and how smooth and uh, that the object starts and stops. Uh, it kind of gives it a fade in effect or, or gradually speeds up and slows down. Um, you know, we can play with that however you like. You can do some sound options. I'm going to go to the timing tab. And, you know, we had to start this on click. And I'm going to choose after previous because since there was no other animation prior to this one, then when we put this up on the screen, it should just go right away. Boom. Start animating right off the bat. I can mess with the time it takes to get from start to finish. The other one I want to make a change here is the repeat. And I'm going to choose until the end of the slide. So as long as this slide is displayed, we got data packets moving into the computer. So let's hit OK. And get our little sample there. Now I'm going to... I'm just going to take an this one data point here and just extend that out a little bit uh, for our path. All right, let's see how it looks now. And there it is. I didn't have to click. And we're just zipping along the data cable right into the computer over and over. So again, you kind of get the idea of how that animation is set up. It's following a custom path that we've drawn. Again, you don't see the path. So it doesn't always have to be precise. You can see it sort of looks like it's following the cable pretty good, but you might want to tweak it a little bit. So I hope that this was helpful for you. Thanks so much. Have an awesome day.